<laughs> Hola, and amigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw. And I'm your host, David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of the techniques used to build this animation. Well, let's talk through really quick the ruler markers uh, or markings that we have uh, that we built with CSS uh, gradients. So in inside of our uh, nesting here, uh, inside of the the eye character, we have these these markings. Um, and so if we go to that in the CSS, you can see we have a full width. Um, element it's just taking up all the space of the parent and then it's got overflow hidden inside of it the pseudo element inside is moving around it's just a really simple animation animating back and forth um, to give just some dynamic pieces to it uh, but if we take that off we can see a little more fully uh, what's what's happening here uh, so using CSS gradients we have two linear gradients um, that are both exactly the same, uh, but we can change them uh, to make it a little clearer. Um, so now we have a red marker as kind of the taller marker, and that's this first layer here. And then the second layer is, uh, is the white markers that happen. Um, how we're accomplishing this is a repeating uh, effect. So it's repeating along the x-axis. Um, so just going along horizontally there. And then with background size, we can actually set how frequently those are repeating. Uh, so the first layer is 100 pixels wide uh, and only 60% high. Um, that's, that's this red marker here. And then the other layer is 10 pixels wide and 30% tall. Um, so that's why we get the repeating of this, of this smaller marker uh, very, very uh, frequent and a longer repetition for the um, for the red marker. Uh, the actual marker itself is drawn with this gradient using just absolute values uh, in the linear gradient. We've we've set the size of the background as 100 pixels or 10 pixels, um, but we have a very fixed drawing of those lines uh, by using one pixel um, for each. Uh, with with gradients, basically the two the two colors or more that you add to it, um, it just kind of uses that color until it reaches the next stop, and then it try it tries to blend in between the two. But if you basically set them at the same stop in that gradient, uh, it gives a very fine line. Um, and a <laughs> lot of CSS artists use this to uh, grade ability. Um, there's so much interesting stuff happening in this space right now. Um, oh, yeah. And a lot of it boils down to linear gradients or radial gradients with really fixed uh, stops to give uh, some really complex effects. Um, so you should definitely read more about that if you're interested in CSS art or just accomplishing um, some nice graphics with uh, CSS only. Um, but that's the basic technique of how, uh, how we built these ruler markers. Yeah, and you can also watch the full process of us creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique and seeing every drop of sweat as we struggle to make this work. So please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, you could leave a comment or you could ask in the chat and we'll be more than happy to answer. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io and CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com and viewers like you, you can pledge at patreon.com slash keyframers. Links are available below.